All right, we are in the downtown area of Winter Park, and we were looking for a place to eat. And if you do like any search, you did like you searched a bunch, right? Mm -hmm. Places. It said that behind us here, the Bosphorus, Bosphorus Turkish, Turkish cuisine. cuisine, that's a tongue twister, is rated like number one. So we're gonna go to it and see if we agree. Let's go check it out. Okay, located off of Park Ave, where everything is at, it's right here on the corner of Park Ave and Morse. They're giving us a walk, so we're gonna go across. All right, I don't know if we go inside or what we do here. Again, first time ever really exploring this area, but it does say that they're, oh, here we are. Hours, seven days a week, Monday through Thursday, 11 to 10, Friday and Saturday, 11 to 11, and Sunday, 11 to 10. And they've got the menu out front. We can look at. Okay, I guess we're gonna head in and see if we can find a place to sit. All right, so we come in here. Here's what it looks like. We've got the bar over here to the left and a bunch of seating inside. Um, and this is where they take our name. All right, you are the one that kind of looked this up and found all this. So super excited, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever had Turkish food, so this is gonna be a first for me. But we are seated over here in the corner. But the um, lighting and stuff in here is really cool. It's really neat. All right, I'm gonna start with the beverages. Let's see. Look at this, Turkish fruit juice and Turkish apple teas. Hmm, that's interesting. I think I'm gonna try one of those. Although they got raspberry tea up top. I feel like though, do you have any idea what Laziza is? We're gonna have to ask some questions on these drinks because I have no idea what any of this is. Here's what the menu looks like. Let's go ahead and open it up. I guess here's a little explanation about the restaurant. We turn the page. Might be hard to read in here, but we'll do the best we can. Some wines. These are like your alcoholic drinks. So our waiter here really helped us out on the menu. Um, as far as the drinks go, and I still have to show the rest of the menu, they do not have this anymore. The Turkish soft drinks are like a canned soda. And I don't remember the flavors deal. It was like, um, I don't remember. The Turkish fruit juice is, he said it's literally fruit juice. So I got the peach one. There we go, a little bit more light in here. The yogurt drink he said if you're questioning even the sound of that don't get it because it's you're probably not gonna like it the teas are hot teas he explained a little bit about the um, coffees I don't really remember because there was a lot thrown at us here and then you got the Turkish mineral water but the pomegranate right okay and then if we go back to the menu I think I left off on appetizers and he said the bread, the, what is it called? Lavos, Lavos. He said that's really good. The mixed appetizer is good because they have all these dips to go with the bread. He also said this one down here, which I have no idea how to pronounce it, is like a Turkish mozzarella sticks. You might have to go with that. And then he also mentioned the Turkish style pizza is very good. But let's just continue going down the menu. Soups and salads. Okay, and here's the entrees page. Seafood. And then that takes us back to the end page of the desserts and beverages. So we're looking at getting the bread and then the select two dips with the hummus and I don't know how to pronounce that, but if we read it, it's the cold cucumber dip. And then the hummus has, see where's the hummus at? Oh, there it is, there's the hummus. And then as far as a meal goes, I, I don't know on the meal, we may just we may just have to do that. Yeah, he just went over the basically appetizers and the pizza for now. 
there are so many things I want to try here. But he said, if you're coming to a Turkish place, you have to try lamb. He said the chicken and seafood is absolutely amazing, but you have to get lamb. So he also told us that if we go back to the appetizer, the C's are pronounced like J's. So it's Jajik is how we pronounce the dip. But we ordered, okay, we ordered the, what going on here? The lavash with the select two, which was the hummus and the Jajik. And then he went over the entrees, which we're gonna have to get lamb. So I'm not sure which one. They just got the lamb shanks back because of how popular they are. We are also gonna hold off for now on the um, Turkish mozzarella sticks because I think we're gonna have so much food anyway. And first time coming here, but I, I definitely wanna come back to try a bunch of their stuff. But just looking at the lamb, he did say this However, he pronounced it grilled lamb Adana, I think is what he said. Is that right? He said that's really good too. We are down to the grilled lamb here and the lamb shanks. And I think we're just going to ask him which one he would do. And um, it shows entrees are served with the rice and vegetables. Uh, all topped with freshly made Turkish vinaigrette. Here's the pomegranate mineral water. That looks really good. And then here is the peach juice. We're gonna give those a try. And then ask him which one we should order for the entree. All right, so I figured he would say that. He said, get the lamb shanks, no doubt. Like he didn't hesitate at all. He said, get the lamb shanks. So that's what we're getting for our entree. I've been informed that this is delicious here. That's really good. That is this right here, and it is excellent. Very, very good. Now let's try the peach juice. Look at this. Yeah, that is, that's like high quality juice there. Go ahead and try it. So good. Peach. They're not messing around with that. That is good stuff. Think of like trying the juiciest peach ever and then just drinking it. That's pretty much sums it up. They already brought out the bread and dips, and I, I mean, can we get a, uh, a hand by that? Look at that, that's huge. The dips look amazing as well. That's interesting, I'm excited about that. All right, what do you do with this thing? Just break it open? Oh, look at this steam coming out of there. Let's look at, like a little igloo. That looks tasty. Very warm. <laughs> that looks like good stuff. Good, delicious. I'm gonna have to try it now. Now I'm gonna try this bread. Oh, it is hot, ouch. This is with the first sauce. Let's try the hummus now. Very good. Yeah, I will say I can see why it's voted number one so far, just tasting that. I know something that they said, I read on their website, was that they, their food is great, but like the hospitality is like the biggest focus of theirs. And I know he said they have really good wines here as well, and there's um, like a big wine storage over there, and a lot of people are drinking their wine, so we'll have to try that sometime as well. So there's all the wine bottles here. The only issue with filming is it is a pretty dark place. The camera's doing as best as it can to pick up the light. So sorry if it gets a little blurry, it's just because it's so dark, but it is very cozy. I wouldn't like want to come in here and it be any brighter. It makes it really cool. What did you say you read online? They said like their biggest focus is on hospitality and they want everyone to feel like they're a guest and like someone's home. That makes sense. I, I do, like I do feel like I am a guest. So pretty cool so far. Here's how far we made it on the bread. You can kind of see inside. I it's just, in it's a, I mean, my hand, look. Look at that. Oh, it's a hand warmer. Which is great. Yeah. Good piece, good piece of bread there. So like, what, maybe a whole five minutes, all this stuff came out already. I mean, it took no time. And here are the lamb shanks. And I mean, they look very, 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 very good. So it just literally falls off the bone like the description said. 
I mean, you don't even need a knife, really. You 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 could use a. I'm just pushing with the knife. You could use a plastic spoon and cut this stuff. That's awesome. Okay, here we go. Lamb shank. Oh my goodness, so tender. The flavor is amazing. Let's do some rice. Very good. Stinking good. I would definitely come back and get that again. Very, 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 very good. So just eating it and looking at it and stuff, you had a very good point. You said you could you could call it like a Turkish pot roast. Yeah, for people who haven't tried it before, it has like its own flavor and seasoning. Um, but the closest thing I could think of is like a pot roast. Yeah, I agree with that. It's so good. Yeah, I wish... Yeah, I agree. I think it's better than a pot roast as well. So like, just to show you, I just peeled this off of the meat. Like that's how much it falls off the bone. All right, we're slowing down, but you can see we picked the meat clean on there. Not much left. Now we got the bread to still continue working on. They also have multiple locations. All right, here's how we've done on the bread. I mean, that that's a very large piece of bread, but I think we're about done so full there's no room for dessert today but like i said before we're gonna have to come back and try some more stuff okay that was our trip um to bosphorus right mm -hmm. the turkish cuisine excellent no complaints no nope. it was fast very friendly nice. service helpful. um helpful everything tasted great um the only complaint i have is my stomach couldn't hold enough to eat more so but everything's good we'll have to come back and try it again get some other things if you're in the winter park area definitely be on the lookout for that i guess or the Northern other location dr phillips yeah those locations stop at that place it is very good stinking good stinking good with that being said that does it for today thanks for watching